Good morning, how are you? Today we are going to explore the Bath & Body Works White Barn store in Washington Square Mall of Portland or technically Beaverton, Oregon. I love a little mall history. So this mall was built in 1973 and I was happy to see it as busy as it was for a Thursday afternoon. I'm not as familiar with bigger cities and most of the malls I've explored are near abandoned, struggling, or at very best just quiet. So I don't know if it's normally busier or quieter than this, but again, it was nice to see foot traffic in brick and mortar stores. As for the Bath and Body Works in Washington Square, I was able to trace its existence back to the year 2000, but I couldn't find an exact opening year in the archives anywhere. But but as you can tell from the modern storefront and fixtures, as well as the fact that it has a shop and shop white barn store inside, it most definitely has been remodeled in recent years. As far as product goes, the main things going on right now in Bath & Body Works land is lots of spring newness, many new and returning floral favorites in candles and hand soaps, We've got a new simplistic collection in body care that I'll be delving into more in depth later, a his and hers duo of new fragrances that are wedding themed, and of course what has been getting lots of hype online, we have the first collaboration with anyone that we've seen in a long time, and that is the Bridgerton collection. So as we walk through this store, I hope you enjoy seeing some of the new products as well as a little appreciation for the details of the interior of this Bath & Body Works and White Barn. Stay tuned until the end because I will be showing you a haul of some of the goodies that I picked picked up while shopping.
Okay, I am back home from my Portland trip and I am ready to share my Bath and Body Works haul that I made with you when I was at the mall in Beaverton, Oregon. The sales that I took advantage of was a buy three get three free on body care and then they also had buy one get one free on the three wick candles. So that is what I mainly grabbed. I just grabbed one set of candles and one set of body care for those sales. So let's dive in. Starting with the three wick candles. I grabbed one for spring and one for more summer. This is my summer one. This is coconut pina colada and I love anything pina colada and so far the smell on this one cold is really good to me and it has notes of coconut milk, blended pineapple, and a splash of rum. So I know we've had various renditions of pina colada scents but I think this one might be a new one. You'll have to let me know down below if we've had the same exact pina colada scent before in a candle. I don't recall it being called coconut pina colada but it does smell familiar but different than some of the ones that at least come to my mind for pina colada. To me this actually smells a little bit heavier on the pineapple than it does the coconut, but of course the coconut has to tie in there to give it that classic pina colada scent. It's smelling super strong and super summery and beachy and I cannot wait to burn it. Here is the second three wick that I purchased. This is Danbury Shortbread as a part of their Bridgerton collection that they're doing a collaboration with. This was the only Bridgerton product that I really was crazy about the fragrance for and it has notes of whipped vanilla, almonds, and sugar crystals. Now this is very similar to, if not exactly the same, as the pistachio ice cream that they've had in the past. Of course things change when you burn them, but smelling it cold, it does really smell exactly like that candle. And I really enjoyed that one. It's very strong of an almond extract scent, but I like strong candles and I like sweet desserty ones too. It's not as graham cracker crusty as I would have thought. It's really bright vanilla-y and very, very sweet. So can't wait to burn that one as well. And then these are the two body care fragrances that I picked up. I did a buy three, get three free. Some of the body care items I got are of the lavender set and then some are of the apple. This is like a nice simplistic collection that they release. It's three parts. It's got the lavender, the apple, and as you saw in the previous videos, it has the musk as well, which I didn't care for the fragrance of. I know that I don't like musk, so so that wasn't any surprise to me. But going more in depth on these scents, this is apple and it has notes of apple, strawberry, and rain. So very fresh, clean, as opposed to super fruity. Um, let's give it a sniff on my skin. Yes, I really like that one. So I'm glad because it smells very strong of like a tart green apple. Because of that green apple, it gives it a nice pleasant tartness. It is a little bit sweet, so it's kind of like a green apple Jolly Rancher, but the rain kind of comes in and makes it more fresh clean than candy scented, if you know what I mean. Something that happens often with apple scents at Bath and Body Works is they tend to pair it with florals, which with the rain, I was a little worried it was gonna start kind of pulling more floral on my skin. But I personally am thankful to report that this does not really have a floral tie-in. If anything, the rain is fresh clean, but it's more focused on that fresh green apple scent. So happy with that one. Here it is in the body cream and the shower gel. I've been reading online that people are saying that this is truly a shower scent and I agree with them when they say that, but I think this scent is geared more towards a fresh shower scent as opposed to being like a perfumed last all day kind of fragrance. I love a good lavender scent. And once again, oftentimes when they have lavender scents, they pair it with lots of other things. You know, we've had things like lavender vanilla, which to me has more of a baby powder kind of scent and we've had things that have lavender but paired with other florals which tend to overpower the lavender even though lavender to me is kind of strong normally so I was excited to see just something that was straightforward like lavender. When I smelled this one in stores it did remind me a little bit of the lavender and spring apricot although that one is more fruity. It also kind of reminded me of lavender cedarwood. Those are two of my favorite lavender scents from Bath and Body Works so I was glad that it was kind of aligning with some of those. The notes on lavender are of course lavender, jasmine, and vanilla. Because of that vanilla, I am getting a little bit of lavender vanilla vibes from it from the aromatherapy collection, but not nearly as creamy or baby powder like. It's kind of like if lavender cedarwood and lavender vanilla combined. The lavender cedarwood is very potent and strong and a little bit more of a rich lavender while the lavender vanilla from the aromatherapy, like I said, baby powder. So it's like a good meat in the middle for this one. And then that is what they look like in the body cream and the shower gel. Once again, I think that this is gonna be a great shower scent. And this one is kind of like the nighttime scent. And then the apple would be perfect for like a morning scent. So between those two scents, I think that they are going to be great for pairing 
with other fragrances. They're perfect for if you want something simplistic. I know sometimes if I'm not feeling well, I don't want to wear a whole bunch of strong fragrance. So I think those match up perfectly with just a straightforward, simplistic, clean scent. I hope you enjoyed that tour of that Bath & Body Works in Oregon, as well as this haul. And you'll have to let me know down in the comments below, which of the three are you most excited about? Are you more of an apple fan, lavender, or do you like the musk scent? Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Until next time, bye. Thank you.